Hello, ladies and gentlemen, it's Mike here at Game From Scratch, and today we are looking at yet another asset in the ongoing Mega Bundle sale over at the Unity Asset Store. And if you do not know about this one, first off, get liked and subscribed to the channel. I keep you up to date on all the latest and greatest in the world of game development, but this is one of the best deals you can get on Unity Assets. And I've been kind of going through some of the best ones so far and kind of just showcasing the capabilities to you. So earlier on, we took a look at uh, Tile World Creator, if you want to check that out, and also Full Screen, which by the way, I am quickly falling in love with and I will be using again in this video. But the one we're looking at today is Terror World. This is a basically a height map generator with a whole lot more built on top of it. We'll come back to the actual details of Terra World Pro in just a second. Just be aware, it's normally 60 bucks, and if you come in here right now, you can get the entire bundle for $39.99. So basically, you're getting this thing for about 40% off and getting 30 other assets thrown in free is one way to look at it. So what we're going to do is jump in straight away to Terra World in action. And, uh, well, first thing I'm going to do is hit... Scroll lock. There we go. That is full screen. That's really all full screen does. It gives you the ability to uh, full screen, fully full screen, unlike the uh, semi full screen that you can currently do, which you can do with this, but still you get the outside border. So that's what that full screen thing does. And like I said, for someone like me doing demonstrations, I love it. You can also full screen an individual window, uh, the scene view, and the game view, by the way. So anyways, uh, what we are looking at now is something called Terra World. Terra World object is going on over here, but first let's go see what the end results of this are. So back to full screen, and let's zoom on in. Let's speed that up. Wow, we're going really slow. All right, here we go. So this is a height map of the Alps being generated by Terra World. Now, so far, you're probably not overwhelmingly excited by what you're seeing because this kind of stuff isn't exceedingly rare. Uh, but the way this one works, that is what is going to impress you. And also, what I find really strange here is the um, this level of the Swiss Alps. If we scroll in really, really close, there is one object here, this lamp right there for reasons I do not understand. So there is an entire landscape and there is this single lamp running in it. By the way, this is one of two uh, examples you can see out there. There's a couple of other things going on here. The biggest thing here is for creating these, um, these height maps. And the key thing here is you're creating it from real world data. That's the impressive thing with Terra World Creator. You can actually bring the real world into Unity very, very simply. And I'm going to show you how to do that in just a second. But I want to show you a couple of other things going on in this example. You'll notice we have uh, realistic looking water. Uh, we've also got um, cloud shaders in the background and such. So it's got more than just uh, this height map generation using real world data, uh, but that is the key feature. So this is all being powered by this Terra World object. And let's show you from the beginning. So let's go ahead to scenes. Uh, we're going to go ahead and create a new scene. Uh, let's do it this way. File, new scene, uh, basic 3D. Yeah, sure. All right. All right, here we are at square one. And the rest of this is actually pretty straightforward and easy. Once you've got the thing installed, uh, again, go to the uh, package manager, add it from your add-ons. Once it is installed, go to tools. You will notice there is Terra Unity and you want to load Terra Unity, sorry, Terra World Pro. We run that one up and it brings up this dialog. Now what you're going to want to do is pick the area of the world. Now do keep in mind, these templates can be a bit of a download, especially for the realistic ones. Uh, so we're going to go ahead, uh, realistic, sure. We're going to pick a location in the world. I, I like, some of the extremes actually give you sort of weird results. So instead I'm going to go to say, uh, Boulder, Colorado. So you can pick anywhere in the world. You can also type in uh, GPS coordinates if you wish. There is where Boulder, Colorado is. This is pulling information from open street maps, government uh, GIS, uh, informational services, and so on. And what we do is basically in the map that pops up, pick the area that we are interested in. So we're going to do this mountainy area in Boulder, Colorado, like so. Uh, looks good to me. By the way, you can zoom in and out. And good. All right, so we're good to go. Once you have done that, you can pick your template. I will show you some of the. I'll show you uh, some of these unrealistic templates. So you can do um, a low polygon art style, or you can even do like a Minecraft uh, voxely style. And I'll switch to that later on. You can actually switch with the exact same map that you are working with. Um, 
And then to get this started, basically just pick the template you wish to use. There are other options here. You can provide your own height map. You can provide your own colors for how it's going to texture based off the, uh, the, the location, or you can pull it from the satellite image. You also do the biomes. You can scatter meshes around the world, such as trees and uh, footage. Um, you can drop where the player should be located. You got settings for uh, how the train should be set up. You can turn VFX on. We should go ahead and do this. This gives you a ton of configurability over how things work. So you can have a day-night life cycle in the world. You can have God rays turned on and off. You can have clouds turned on and off, atmospheric scattering, volumetric fog, wind simulations, horizon fog, snow, water, post-processing effect options, which you have to install. And you can have control over the polygons. And we even get into the advanced settings, which is way beyond what I want to do here. You've got some overall settings, but mostly what you need to do is basically come in here, pick a chunk of the world, and pick how you want it to render. Once you've got the one you want, double click that template. If you have never downloaded that template before, it will go ahead and do a download. Now these are actually fairly large to get, the um, the realistic ones anyways. So what I'm gonna do is let this do its magic. Uh, it's going to pull down the template and then it's gonna go ahead and create our scene. Uh, so I will let it do this. This will probably gonna take a couple of minutes so I will be back in a second. Alrighty, that took about five minutes, I would say, with that template. And as you're going to see in just a few minutes, it all depends on the complexity of the template. We can go with easier templates, they will work faster. So that is uh, done. So here you can see uh, we have brought in the real world of uh, Boulder, Colorado mountains. Um, still seem to have some global illumination pre-processing going on. I'll let that sort itself out. Okay, so I need to point out, I'm not 100% certain if this is a bug or not. I, I've had this happen a few times with this. It's, I, I don't know. I don't know if it's gone insane. It has been a number of minutes trying to do this. I don't know if it's doing a number of different global illumination things, but I got to point out when I was evaluating this thing, there are the two demo levels that came with it. And for both of those, I ultimately had to close things down and reopen to get it to work. So I don't know if the script can go stupid, if this is a bug, or if it is literally ever going to finish this processing part but I'm going to just move on and ignore it. So we're going to chug at times because it is doing that in the background. Uh, again, I think if you save your project, exit and come back in, it will be fine. But here you can see part of Boulder uh, clipping through the world for some reason. I'm not really sure why that is, but uh, this is a recreation of actual Boulder, Colorado in the world. So now what I'm going to do is, as I said earlier on, I'm going to switch over to miscellaneous and we're going to use the Minecraft template instead. So as you can see, it automatically just straight out updates. I've already downloaded that one in the past. Um, so it doesn't need to download the template, but these non-realistic templates are very, very, very fast to download anyways. Let it run and do its thing. So now instead of a realistic foresty type environment, and hopefully this global illumination thing chills out a bit, uh, we're gonna come on in here and get Minecraft style. So we're at 92%. Uh, give it a minute. I don't know again if global illumination is just going to keep freaking out in the background there. Yeah, it seems like it's going to. So again, just do be aware there seems to be some issues with this one. Another thing that I find is where it actually generates things it can be a little on the random side. So you may have to move your train around or move around to find your train. But there what you see is Boulder, Colorado mountains rendered in Minecraft style. Even the clouds get rendered in a different art style. That is pretty cool. So if that is the art style of your game that you are going for, uh, you can switch out uh, basically immediately. Again, you can change any one of these settings as well and then just do an update if you wish. Again, I think global illumination is, is stuck in crazy land. Uh, and we can switch one more time. Let's do stylish uh, and we'll do four. No, I don't want to do that one. I do this one. And we're going to switch to a low polygon forest style. And as you can see, the template was already downloaded. So realistically, it's just a matter of uh, let it do its generation thing and let it run uh, again. Let's, uh, we don't want to wait for that one. It's only going to take a few seconds. But I'm going to pause it. So I'll come back at the end. Now, another thing you're going to notice is this. It has very Microsoft style progress bar. So you basically go 0, 50, 92, spend more time on 92 than any other number, and then 100%. But really, it didn't take too, too long. And here we are in a Minecraft style world. I think it's bugging out though because the illumination seems wrong and I can't scroll anymore. No, I can, I can just scroll really, really slowly. So let's zoom down. Yeah, something's definitely wigging out on my lighting. But as what you can see from that example, I think, again, I think I've got it in crazy land because of this. Um, you probably best set to uh, 
save your scene and reload it, and hopefully this stupidity goes away. Because uh, our lighting is a little befouled now, but you see we're in a low polygon version of the same thing. And you get the low polygon cloud styles instead. So that's actually kind of a cool thing about this one. You've got uh, various different art styles, various different templates you can work with. Uh, and then various different, I guess you could call them biomes to work with as well. Do keep in mind, once again, the realistic ones are quite um, quite massive. And unfortunately, once again, this this seems to be glitching out. Now, the cool thing here is, again, everything that we are working with is okay i'm definitely in a weird spot now uh the uh settings are all available here you can tweak pretty much every one of their managers in real time if you wish to work with it it's definitely a cool tool uh as you saw from this demonstration and i don't think most people's workflow is going to be switching from one style to the next to the next so that might be breaking things to a certain degree uh but uh, this kind of thing does happen. And again, I find most of the time exiting out, reloading the level uh, makes it work just fine. So that there, that is Terra World in action. Uh, so if you're interested in grabbing this one, it is available as part of the 95% off Mega Bundle. It unfortunately is in the top tier. As you'll see, it is down here. Oh, sorry, that was the one I covered last time, which, by the way, I do have a video if you want to check that one out. Uh, but it's available right here. Um, and that uh, full screen toggle I was using earlier on, that's this little handy guy right there. Uh, so if you're looking at picking it up, it, it justifies the whole bundle. You get 40% off, basically, and then get a bunch of stuff thrown in for free. You can look at it that way. And it is definitely a cool tool. Now, the question to you guys, uh, anything else here that you're really interested in seeing me cover? Because... Um, uh, I got the two ones that I was most interested in. This one looks kind of interesting here. Uh, Dream OS looks a little niche, but it actually looks pretty cool as well. Uh, but if there's anything else here you'd like to see me cover before this bundle's over, uh, let me know. I will do my best. Uh, but what we looked at today, that was Terra World Pro. Uh, again, don't go directly to the store page because you can't tell that it's actually on sale there. The way you want to get this guy is through the Mega Bundle because as you see, it's 20 bucks off on the Mega Bundle plus you get 20 plus assets for free if you go that route. Whereas if you are in the store page for it itself, it ain't great that way. Uh, there are a number of other features available. Uh, so you can see here the, the volume your clouds, fog, wind simulation, water, and so on. So everything you need to make your landscape work in a number of different art styles. But the crux of this tool is for creating realistic real-world area from real-world data quickly and easily. Unfortunately, as you saw, it is not 100% bug-free, uh, but that that's the nature of game development these days. So let me know what you thought of Terra World Pro. And again, in the Mega Bundle, uh, is there anything else here you want to see me cover? I know some people were asking about... Uh, Jujube uh, map editor, uh, maybe some interest in Dungeon Maker. I might be able to combine a couple of these together, like grab it, editor physics tool and new context pro, um, like the quick and the dirty utilities that make Unity more pleasant to work with, sort of like what you saw with full screen. But if there's something else here that you want to see in action, uh, do let me know and I'll try to cover it before this sale ends. All right, so that's it. Uh, again, Mega Bundle, you've got uh, 11 days left as of the time of this video goes up. And what we looked at today is Terra World Automatic Level Designer or Automated Level Designer. Really kind of a cool, cool tool, but I'd be interested to hear what you think of it. Comments down below, and I will talk to you all later. Goodbye.